Hello guys and welcome to another Dragoon Plays video. Today we'll be going over the newest release for DLC Sub-Zero. Also, what does it mean? What is he doing? And what to look forward to next with Starfire coming out. Who is it under the mask? I am Sub-Zero, Grandmaster of the Lin Kuei. That's a first. Sub begin. Alright, so my first thoughts on Sub-Zero were that it is a very good character. They copied the style of Sub-Zero in all the Mortal Kombat games pretty accurate in this game. It's more fast-paced style of play actually, so it makes it easier for Sub-Zero to move around as you can see in this video. It's also very fluid. It's not very... I was just playing Mortal Kombat the other day and Sub-Zero was kind of slowed down because that's the style, but now they sped him up and just as more of a fast paced type of game, there's more things to find at you and Sub-Zero has been combated to make it very easy to work around these type of things. Now one of the things with Sub-Zero that I noticed and you may have noticed if you've seen too is that they have to, a lot of his encounters at the beginning of the thing talk about being prepared for combat. There's evil coming, there's evil afoot. What does that mean? Could that possibly be another game coming out? Could that be the next thing that NetherRealm is dealing with? Are they going to give us the long-awaited Mortal Kombat vs. DCU 2? And who would be in that? What would they even do with that? I don't know. I'm just speculating. But if you look at some of these intros here, you see how Sub-Zero is just preparing them for combat. Talking about combat. And also, is, the, is his tower ending canon? Cause in his tower ending, we see that due to his interference, we see Superman comes out of the Phantom Zone with his allies to try to take over the world again, and he has to defend. So are they just planning to have like a mashup? That's why everybody's everybody's fighting. And what is it going to lead to? Who's going to be there? Who's not going to be there? Who would be in this Mortal Kombat vs. DCU2 game? I don't know. It just blasts my mind. This all started right there. And then you get the Injustice, then the next Mortal Kombat, now Injustice 2. It just, it's a, it's a good guesstimate to make. It's, they've made by the same company, so it's very accurate to say so. I cross my fingers, dot my eyes, I'm hoping that's the thing. That would be an amazing game to see. I would love to see Supergirl versus Cassie Cage. That would be a great cage match. So what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Weak pun, I know. So, um, yeah, but uh, that could be a good thing. The next part of the DLC is Starfire. That's what I know a lot of people are waiting on, and I've been waiting on too. Hopefully, they release the trailer so, so we can see exactly what we're dealing with here, what's going on, who's doing what, how does she actually fit in here, what is her style? Is she more get up close to personal and blow you up, or is she go back with like laser beams and shoot back with you with our energy blast because we know that Starfire shoots a lot of energy blasts. What is it going to be? How are they going to work that in? That's something that I'm also waiting for. So, it's just, it was really good to see that they did this balancing with something, or meaning that they can balance any character, meaning those last, what, four or five slots that we don't know could be some really big characters then if they were able to balance Sub-Zero out the way that they did. I was really happy in that and it was really amazing to see. So, we just have to wait till Raiden comes out because Raiden, air quote, most likely it's Raiden. We all assume it's Raiden. If he also talks about preparing for combat because the last time we saw Raiden, Raiden was actually saying that he no longer would wait for Earthrealm to be attacked. He was going to go on the offensive. So maybe he starts off the war in Mortal Kombat vs. DCU 2. And then they all have to put the pieces back together like Raiden. You're wrong here, buddy. You got to fix that. So that could be another thing that they do. It's just so many options they can take in doing this. I can't believe it. It would be an amazing game to do. If they're not doing it and they're just trolling like, oh no, we're just bringing them here for no reason. Then that would be, it'd still be fun because you still have those, at least those two Mortal Kombat characters. Not to mention somebody else that we don't know can be Mortal Kombat character 
from the DLC. We don't know. It, it's just so many. They have so many avenues because since they make both games, they could just oh, get both licensing, put them together, boom. They could definitely do that. I see it. I know other people probably see it. It's a great thing that they could do, and it's really inventive. So like I said, Starfire hype to the fullest. Can't wait to see how that works. Are they actually going to do Mortal Kombat vs. DCU 2? I hope so. I would love it to combine these two series now, which have had Mortal Kombat one of the original fighting games anyway. But Injustice 2, which has become this huge phenomenon now, is just going to be even more elevated with this DC 2 game. It's going to be incredible. So... That's my foretake. That's my info. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my commentary here. If you like it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Let me know what you think and if this seems logical to you like it seems logical to me. So, without that, enjoy yourselves.